We are pleased, as always, to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Coming up, another edition of the NFL International Series, and it should be a good one, between the Carolina Panthers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And the Panthers offense set to go back to work here. And, Charles, this is a team that missed the playoffs three of the last four years. No playoff wins, in fact, since their run to Super Bowl 50. Last year they were 5-11. and 11, But you want changes? Well, this team, they have made some changes. And when you talk about changes, you're talking about complete and total. Head coaches change. All the coordinators have changed. Starting quarterback has changed. But they have to really get some play out of their defense because last year they gave up the most points in franchise history. So if they're going to chase down New Orleans and Atlanta and Tampa Bay in their own division, they have to be stout across the defensive front. But they did draft Derrick Brown out of Auburn to give them a start in that direction. And let's face it, any team that has Christian McCaffrey on offense, they've got a chance. He can cause a lot of problems. Ran for 1,000 caught for a thousand just last season and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39 a gain of five good enough for the first down down at the 39 yard line so from the 39 now they'll come up on a first and ten out of the gun bridgewater and his pass incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake the block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. So line of scrimmage still at 39 on second and 10. Bridgewater going to give this to McCaffrey. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves them with third and nine looming. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action and hit them over the top. On third down, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. There's the Panthers punter now. Back deep, Jadon Mickens. And he didn't quite have the back spin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. Well, the Buccaneer offense heading out, and I guess you'd say, Charles, for them, well, not much going on in Tampa Bay in the offseason, just quietly going under the radar, but not really. I mean, Tom Brady, the story of the offseason, trying to turn around a franchise coming off a 7-9 and nine finish that has now missed the playoffs 12 straight years. And is there a team that you know in this league that went 7-9 and nine last year that has such star power? You just mentioned Brady, of course. Bruce Arians is their head coach. He's a rock star. They added Rob Gronkowski in tight end. You've got Mike Evans and Chris Godwin out wide catching the football. Then the defensive side of the ball, Shaq Barrett led the league in sacks last year. And Jason Pierre-Paul, JPP, he didn't play a full season and nearly had double-digit sacks. If that defense plays really well, yes, they'll want to tamp down expectations, but they will contend for a division and possibly a Super Bowl berth. And that Super Bowl, of course, remember, will be in Tampa this season. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. On second and 12, Brady. He finds McCoy. 
And he'll be brought down right around the 37. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Throwing is Brady on third down. And a throw there going to be incomplete. A nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. The call for a fair catch, and it's made at about the 23-yard line. It'll wind up just a 35-yard punt, no return. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. Bridgewater going to lead the Panthers up here, first and 10 at their own 23. And from the shotgun, he'll throw. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 10 yards there, and about by the nose of the football, he's going to have a first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. On first down, this is McCaffrey. Levante David in on the tackle. With well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back down and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. From the 37, they work on second and six. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They're giving him some different looks here defensively in the early going. He's only hit two of his first five passes. With a big third down coming up, he's hoping he's got a play dialed up that can take advantage of whatever the defense throws at him. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. Every offense tells you they want to come out and start fast. That's not unusual at all. But this group, they've yet to get much rolling through their first two drives. It looks like they have to give up the football again after this one. Here's the Panthers punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Here's Mickens to return. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. At their own Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Three yards the game there, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Big O.J. Howard, his intended target. And that takes us from second to third down. Let's give some credit to the defensive guys on that play. Able to bat that one away. Sure looked like they were trying to hit the corner route. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Brady. And he's got Miller. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. First down, Tampa Bay there, a gain of 13. At the 39-yard line. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Brady gives this one off to Jones. 
It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Pickup brings up second and four at the 45-yard line. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. Working from the gun, it's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 44-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Good catch there by Mike Evans, and his ability to get downfield and create big plays is something that Tom Brady hasn't had on the perimeter in the last few seasons. Mike Evans often fools defenders with his speed because he's so long, people think he can't be that fast. But he is, and combines it with terrific hands and makes big catches. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Now the first carry for LaShawn McCoy. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 34. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Well, just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So first and 10 now from the 30. The shotgun. It's McCoy. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. He's well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Now they'll throw with Brady. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. Gronkowski, the intended target. Third down here. I think he could have scanned downfield forever, but there wasn't anything available. Ends up throwing an incompletion, and I think he'll take that. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. A 43-yard attempt. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and the Bucks take a 3-0 lead. So a good kick there to polish off the drive with three points. Yeah, coaches always talk about finishing a drive with a kick. Two of them give you points, either an extra point, or in this case, a field goal. Turn, it's Pharaoh Cooper. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. They've had it twice, they punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? 
And here's a good way to kick off a drive complete over the middle. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. But we can talk about it like it's just a basic route, but how about the timing on this one? Lined up on the right, runs a deep in route, and how about the throw? Right on the money. Bam! Puts it right in there and on his hands. Nice completion. Really good pickup. He'll be stopped shy of the 45 despite a great move. Christian McCaffrey. A gain of three, second down. That's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. On second and seven. Bridgewater, and he's got it complete to Anderson. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a first down on a gain of 10. The catch there by Robbie Anderson, and we all know he's got the speed to get behind any defense. What I think is underrated about his game is his toughness and his belief in self. Robbie Anderson was an undrafted free agent who's turned into a big-time player in the NFL. And now landing in Carolina, reunites him with his college coach, Matt Rule, when they were together at Temple. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Working with second and five now. From the gun, Bridgewater. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. The big Vita Vea pushing his way through to wind up with a sack. Oh, you know that did not feel good. Vita Vea with the sack there. And we know he's a big-time presence on the defensive line, especially against the run. But he'll surprise you with his quickness and his upfield agility in order to get to the quarterback. If you're blocking him, it's going to be a long afternoon or evening, a tough proposition. And he'll air this one deep for Anderson. Incomplete. Both players were there offensively and defensively, but it falls incomplete. They've had multiple opportunities on offense and still haven't scored any points. Felt like they wanted to loosen things up, throw it downfield, and see if maybe they could get a big play and a quick strike. Here's the Panthers punter now as he's on to kick it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10, just shy of the 30. And he'll begin the drive with a give to Jones. And he gets this to the 35, good for a gain of five. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're a back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. They'll keep it on the ground with McCoy this time. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. He's brought down by Shaq. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. The Bucks on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and two. They'll try and run for it with Jones. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down, and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. They only needed a couple, but the blocking was good. And, of course, you can't tamp him down when he gets past that line of scrimmage. No, and guess what? Not only were they physical at the point of attack, they executed so well. That's what you have to do in short yardage situations. Everyone has to be in the right spot taking on a defender to give him the chance that they did, and he took full advantage of it. 
He didn't even try to signal for a timeout, so they must have not been aware of the numbers. I think he lost track of the time left in the play clock. It probably was trying to read the defense and trying to figure out which play to run and just lost track, and it cost him. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. After the penalty, it's McCoy. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. He's brought down by Shaq. Well, obviously, they would have at least liked to have gotten back to the original line of scrimmage. Instead, now, they're dealing with second and long. I thought they would have passed it after the penalty. Probably wish they would have now. Second and 14. From the gun, Brady. He finds his target, it's Evans. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Mike Evans has been so good downfield, I think that sometimes we end up taking him for granted. When you look back at what he's done each year in the league, he's been a thousand yard receiver each and every time. Now paired with the prolific Tom Brady, those numbers could really jump. Brady's throw on third down there is incomplete. They really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. From the right hash, this from 53. And this is good. It was running out of gas there at the end, but he winds up getting just enough on it. And that will make it six to nothing. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Yeah, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. This taken in about four yards deep. And no return from Cooper. Out it'll go to the 25. Carolina getting set to take the field. The results for them so far not that great. Well, not good at all. Three drives, three punts. Yeah, and now what you're doing is you're looking at your play sheet. You're trying to figure out what you're going against defensively. I wonder, are they showing them something they haven't seen or anticipated in practice, and maybe that's throwing them off? Or do they just have to go to a different play calling section and try and run some offense that way? Terrific running there to start the drive as that's going to go for 15 and a quick first down as well. And there's a catch by Christian McCaffrey, and he plays a huge role in the passing attack. He's caught over 100 passes each of the last two years, so he is a defense's nightmare because how do you identify him before the snap on every play? Is he a running back? Is he a receiver? Do you guard him with a defensive back, a linebacker? Whatever you do, he tends to have the answer himself and ends up making big plays. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Second down and three. seem in a rush. I guess they just didn't know where the play clock was. I think you're right about that because there was no hurried movements there, right? No up-tempo at all. Clock just ran out. I think he was as surprised as maybe his bench was. They are pushed back five yards by the delay of game, second and eight. Bridgewater now. And down he goes. A bucket air sack. Devin White leading the surge there as he drops him for a loss of six. 
And there they bring pressure from the inside and they get home. Yeah, hard to block everyone, isn't it? And on this play, <laughs> someone did not get blocked. He's the one who got home. So Bridgewater needing to work a little magic after that sack on a third and long. And that is incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Incomplete. This offense has definitely been slow getting out of the gate. It's almost like they missed their wake-up call for this one. No points on their first two possessions. And now it's looking like none on this one either. Here's the Panthers punter now. As he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And now a high kick here as he'll try to hang it up there. Now a fair catch taken just across midfield, maybe by a yard or two. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Now they're about to come up on drive number four, but so far just two field goals on drives one through three. Wondering if the head coach has talked with his offense coordinator and said, look, let's, let's go ahead and press this a little bit. I'm giving you four downs on just about every occasion to try and get this offense kick-started and have it culminate in touchdowns. You know, maybe someday to press it a little bit. This might be the case. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down now, it's Jones. Four yards on the pickup there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Bucks on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and four, and that is incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. And the throw left side. Sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. I would say it'd probably be a good idea for him to reintroduce himself to his receivers at the half because they're definitely on different wavelengths. But I also don't advocate waiting that long. Next series, before you get out there. Hey, let's get together, guys. Let's get this thing moving. Well, I'll try again from the 20 on second and 10. Throwing Bridgewater. They'll tussle for it, and this is going to be caught. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. First and 10. There's so many tight ends nowadays, they have no problem at all putting him in the slot and letting him go to work, and that's a nice pitch and catch right there for a first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Throwing his Bridgewater. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Brings up. Ah, that's tough to play zone defense when they can just curl up right there in front of you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talk about finding the soft spot defensively. How do you make sure they don't find the soft spot like they did there? Tough to do because what they normally will do is run routes that'll pull you out of that spot that they want to get into. That's what we call not taking the cheese, right? Don't go for the mousetrap. But it's hard to do because when you see a guy cutting that in that direction, you tend to go towards him. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Bridgewater into the hands of his receiver Anderson. Anderson loses the football and it's picked up by the Buccaneers. And this 
this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their 38. He'll throw from the gun. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Complete to Scotty Miller. It's a gain of five, brings up second and five at the 43-yard line. Second down at five. Now a draw play. This is McCoy. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 16 yards, a first down. Oh, he's got it going early in this one. That's the Shady McCoy. That's vintage right there, right? Breaking tackles, creating explosive runs. And if they don't take care of this early, look out. This guy's got a big, big day. You know where he got that nickname Shady, by the way? I know you're going to educate me on it. Help me out. Mama. Mama gave him that name when he was a youngster. And if Mama named him Shady, we're going to call him Shady. Absolutely. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, whenever you talk about players that really broke out in the 2019 season, you better add Chris Godwin to that list. Over 1,300 yards receiving, nine touchdowns. He was second among receivers last season, receiving yards per game at 95. This guy combines great body control, excellent strength, and terrific route running ability to become a really big downfield threat. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 25 on second down, Brady complete to Jones. And he'll get two or three out of that one as that is going to take us to the two-minute warning. It's a gain of three. Brings up third and four. A third field goal of the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Operating from the gun, Brady. The catch made by Miller. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Brian Burns. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. It's interesting, partner, that most defenses try and guard the 35-yard line actively because they think the way kickers are nowadays, about a 52-yard field goal, they're kind of giving up points. But you get even deeper into territory, you get into the red zone, they're going to guard it even more, which means more pressure, more blitzing. And that one goes incomplete. He's maybe lucky it wasn't a fumble as he got hit as he threw it. One of the great coaches said football is really a simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. On third and long, it's Brady. He gets it into the hands of Gronkowski, complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. So now the field goal unit trots out there for the third time tonight. A 29-yard attempt. And Suckup will put this one right through, and that will make our score 9 to nothing. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six field goals. Oh, oh, Brandon, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice.
So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kicks away. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Inside of a minute left in the half, does the fact that you're down on the scoreboard influence what you do or, I guess, don't do on this final drive? It certainly does, but what influences me even more is who I've got running my football team out on the field and the weapons around him. Can he make a play? Can he get into someone that we're going to trust to take care of the ball? If that's the case, I might push it a little bit here and try and get something before the half runs out. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Bridgewater throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Curtis Samuel, the one he was looking for. And it's third down. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. And that's going to wind up incomplete. However, we do have a flag down. Let's check in with our referee. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Not much there, only a yard. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And he's got the hook up to Moore. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. So we come upon halftime with nine points separating these two teams. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And the third quarter will start with a touchback as that one lands in the end zone. And Brady and the Buccaneers here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the gun, he'll set up to throw. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. K-1 short. What an effort from him on that play. Big tackle for a loss of 11. They need to stop to get back into this game, and here's one right to start the third quarter. Yeah, anytime you go into the lockers with that two, three score deficit, you're right. You need that stop, get the football back, and they've done just that. Series to series, play to play. Throwing on second and long. Brady, open man, Gronkowski complete. Brady reception, good for seven. It's third down. And there's a nice catch there by Rob Gronkowski. And we all know the story. Came out of retirement, got himself traded to Tampa Bay from New England in order to reconnect with his favorite quarterback. And no one has caught more Tom Brady touchdowns than Gronk, and he expects to add to that total in Tampa Bay. Well, that throw by Brady incomplete. So good coverage there defensively as it looks like they'll force a punt on this opening drive of the third. Well, let's coach them up a little bit from right here in the booth. That's exactly what they needed to do. They need to start stringing together some stops, turning the ball over back to their offense, and try to get back into this game. Yeah, a couple scores down, but they can eat into that quickly with a nice drive here on the other side. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. He'll take it at the 42. 
They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. The Panthers offense now, they head back on the field for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, they trail by a couple of scores, but if they could put a good drive together here, it'd go a long way toward getting them back in this football game. And if you're looking at a checklist of things that they need to do in the second half, job number one was getting a stop, wasn't it? So big check right there. Now they want to see if their offense can build on that momentum. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he'll get this down only to about the 46. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They gotta make some moves. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Out of the gun, Bridgewater. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. It's a Carolina first down on a gain of 16. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's Bridgewater. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. It's a gain of nine. Brings up second and a yard at the 21-yard line. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And some space here. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. It's a really nice 15-yard pickup, and now it's first and goal. And here's Christian McCaffrey with another run. Run CMC, as he's known in the Carolina area. Easily the most productive running back in the league last season. 2,392 yards from scrimmage. He's just so dangerous every time he gets the football. Whether you hand it to him, throw it to him. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. From six yards away. And the Panthers have got it back to a one-score game. A good tight end is a heck of a weapon for any quarterback, especially when you're able to create some mismatches. Sometimes they work against a linebacker. Sometimes they work against a smaller defensive back. But when they find it, they go to it, and it often results in touchdowns. The extra point up and good. And the lead is down to two. Panthers seven. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And they'll watch this one fall in the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. Now the Buccaneer offense set to take over again. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their 25-yard line. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And yeah, this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. From the gun, Brady. 
The Panther rush too strong. They get there and take him down. K1 short, his second sack of the night. Well, we knew this guy wasn't especially fleet of foot, but he tried to conjure up some escapability, but there was no way he was getting away on that one. The sack backs him up third and long. Tough challenge for Grady in the box. Operating from the gun, Brady. He finds McCoy. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Five yards, not enough. And it'll be fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. And not his best effort there, as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn, as they've got it first and 10. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Levante David, the Bucks' leading tackler a season ago, in on the stop. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter as a good running back dive play. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield. Go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. 54 yardage. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And they take the lead here by a point, 10-9. to nine. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. this one land in the end zone that'll be a touchback and Tampa Bay trots out there now and a tight game after punting last time see if they can get something going on this drive as they head to the field now with the game this close you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now but they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play on first down Brady this for his running back, McCoy. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. Yeah. 
point. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Shotgun now for Brady. Open man has got what it's complete. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. Brady finding Godwin there for a Buccaneer first. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, who can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. Pressure comes in. He's brought down. It's a Panther sack. Brian Burns able to drop him that time for his second sack of the evening. And that's the second sack of the game, but this player disruptive in all phases whether he's going upfield coming underneath you name it he's a big time guy you have to block pass protection has been a problem all night long as they come up facing second and a bundle brady's throw there complete and they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45 28 yards the game there on the catch and run and now what we're seeing, this is much better from this offense because so far in this game, no touchdown to this point. And what's usually a direct correlation? Very few explosive plays. That's been their issue. Not able to make that big shot downfield or break one off, but a nice game there for a first down. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. Jermaine. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. 37-yard line. Four yards remain for second down. Brady going to fake the give to Jones and set up to throw. They'll find Miller. That's complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 18. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. The 18-yard line. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they lick their chops in order to get the big hit or a play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. I think a lot of people ask the same question all the time. Why do we see so many slants in the red zone? Well, the windows are tighter. Everything's more condensed. It has to be quicker, and you've got to deliver the ball on time. Your biggest worry? Ball gets tipped in the air because if that happens, then it's fair game for the defense. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. Cameron Bray there to make the grab. And the Bucs are going to retake the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. And this will be caught as they convert here for two. So they go with a pass there on the two-point try and able to convert it, Charles. And a good job by the offense figuring out their two-point play and using it well. It's interesting how people are using the strategy nowadays, though, isn't it? It really is, and I don't know how much that one, that particular play factored in, but with the PAT moving back in 15-16, that kind of changed things, didn't it? It's really a part of everyone's strategy now. When I talk with coaches and when we sit with them, they always talk about they actually have two-point periods in practice now, something they never really did before. Right. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. Cooper on the return. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. Here's the Carolina offense as they get ready to take over here. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. To throw, Bridgewater. They'll set up the screen to McCaffrey. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. For a 
Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Give the tackle that time to Jordan Whitehead. Oftentimes we praise an offense for their variety of being able to hit people with the run in the pass, but in this game, how about what we're seeing from the safeties? They are all over the field. Doesn't matter if they threw it or if they're trying to run it. I don't think we've ever awarded an MVU most valuable unit, but you're right, it might go to them in this game. I like that, MVU. Well done. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Eluding the pressure right, and he'll get it out to midfield. Let's see, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Pretty solid gain of seven yards that time as he scrambled, but now they face a fourth down. That's the end of the third quarter. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. They'll run for it, McCaffrey. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. First down, Bridgewater. That one complete to Anderson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. The catch and run, good for 24 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. Oh, no, he lost the football. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. You can almost see inside his face mask there the look of relief. He coughed it up, but it goes out of bounds. They keep it. Someone carrying around the lucky horseshoe, aren't they? If I were him, I'd go out and play the lottery after that one. A very fortunate man. And they're operating in plus territory here. They're thinking points. Definitely don't want to lose the football at this juncture. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. For the connection there, Bridgewater to Samuel for a Panther first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A good rally to the football. Keeps him to only a yard, and it's second down. When you see zone defense, and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go, because he might wander into some tough coverage. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. From the shotgun to McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard there, and that'll bring us to third and goal. Defensively, I think they can smell a stop ball right around the five here, brings up third. And I think what they've done is they put doubt in the minds of the offensive guys. What do we do? Because now you don't have a go-to play. Either side they pick, throwing it, running it, it won't be easy. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Sly on for the extra point. And 
no sweat. He puts it through, and we are tied here in the fourth. At 17. Seventeen, seventeen. the score. All even to this point as the kick's away. Fielded right around the eight. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. So out come the Bucks now. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at their own 27. He'll set up to throw from the gun. Throw left side complete. It's McCoy. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now left side on the swing pass. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Brady to throw on third and one. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's McCoy. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first and ten, here's Brady. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And the Panthers have recovered. Well, so much for the four-minute offense. They were trying to reduce the clock, get in position to win the game, and leave no time for them to come back and catch him. And guess what? They turned the ball over. Yeah, I mean, they had it all set up for themselves, and they let it get away. We always talk about receivers. If the ball hits your hand, you're supposed to haul it in, but it is hard to adjust to a pass thrown a little bit behind you. That one was all the momentum going forward. Couldn't contort his body back to grab it. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. And he's able to get across midfield and down into Buccaneer territory. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. The Panthers on third down. They've converted a third of their opportunities, three for nine. This is third and four. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. Got his target, Samuel. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Seven catches for him now in this last one. A first down. First and 10 at the 27-yard line. Bridgewater now looking to throw on first. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. But this offense can get their tight ends involved. They can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a draw play to McCaffrey. 
And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So up through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. Again, they run. Again, it's McCaffrey. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Well, if you're looking for glory, looking to get your name in the headlines, you do not want to play nose tackle. But how about what we just saw there? The ability to hold people up, take on extra blocks, and actually slip them and make a tackle on that play. That's big time. Heavy set out there on third and one. And it'll be caught in the end zone for the Carolina touchdown by D.J. Moore. D.J. Moore, his second touchdown of the night. And the Panthers have broken our tie as they take the lead. Now Joey Sly for the point after. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Makes the score Panthers 24, Buccaneers 17. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Takes it at the 7. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. But back now comes Tampa Bay. And now after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind in a 7-point game in this fourth quarter. Plenty of time on the clock. You better down a score in the fourth quarter than Tom Brady. This is first and ten. Brady now on first down. Throw left side complete. It's McCoy. Not much there, only a yard. He's out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Still nine yards to go on second down from the 27. Working from the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Brings up third and three. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. They'll try and run for it with McCoy. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. On third down, that's a good job of situational football and understanding where the first down marker was and getting there. So from the 36 now, first and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Ten yards there, and a Buccaneer first down. Six-yard line. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. From the gun, Brady. He completes this into the hands of Miller. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible, hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage, and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. 
Operating from the gun. Brady over the middle complete. That's McCoy. And he'll be brought down. It looks like right at the 40. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Brings up second and two at the 33-yard line. Chains now, second and two. Brady to throw again. That's caught by the big tight end, O.J. Howard. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. I'm starting to wonder here, are they trying to prevent winning? Because right now, they're laying back, and they're picking them apart, moving the ball downfield. I think they got to start bringing a little pressure towards the quarterback. First down now, but the clock continues to move. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Brandon's okay what they're doing right now. Still able to work the middle of the field, but you know sooner or later, they're going to have to stop the clock. First down now, but that clock rolling. Into the red zone, it's Brady. This will be caught just inside the 10. And here he'll get it down to the seven. It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. Clock's under a minute. Still plenty of time, partner. They have all three timeouts. That means they have plenty of options in their play calling and where they target on the field. They can throw it downfield, maybe even in the middle, and use their timeouts. Back to throw, Brady. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute. And they're an extra point away from tying this game. And while it appears the heavy lifting was accomplished by scoring the touchdown, they're still down one. That extra point is not a gimme. And applause in the action because the booth, they see something that they want to take another peek at to find out if this was a touchdown or not. look that's what the technology is for and this touchdown will count and we are tied here in the fourth quarter that ties the game 24 24 separating these two sides 24 all our score as he sends this one away fielded near the back of the end zone and with time a factor here late he'll just take a knee and they'll start things out at the 25 here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field they've got work to do but they do still have a bit of time here and they've got to feel comfortable with that but they have all their play sequences called if they get out of bounds, that allows them to huddle and call another play. But if they don't, it's hurry up to the line of scrimmage and either spike it and stop the clock or continue to move it downfield in order to try and get in range and win this game. See if they can do just that. Gets this to his running back. It's Christian McCaffrey. Lead to Christian McCaffrey. Out of bounds at the 31-yard line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. 
They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Bridgewater. That's to McCaffrey complete. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Seconds remaining. Samuel. Curtis Samuel, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. At the 40-yard line. Now Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Christian McCaffrey, last year's catch leader among running backs, the intended receiver, and it's third down. And 10 yards to go. Bridgewater to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. The Panthers going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. A first down throw for Bridgewater. He'll get this to McCaffrey out of the backfield. A good rally to the football keeps him to only a yard in its second down. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Second and nine. And again, it's Bridgewater. And he's got the hook up to Moore. And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has him in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. Oh, that heart has to be pounding inside the chest of Joey Sly. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Oh, that heart has to be pounding inside the chest of Joey Sly. The clock showing just one tick. This for the win. And his kick here is good. And the Panthers have won the football game. A little drama there at the end, but really this thing was already decided. The late points get scored, and then it ends on the kickoff. And I'm right there with you, partner. At the end of the game, they knew what they had to do. Just make sure you don't cough up the football at the end. Just take care of it, and victory was theirs, and that's exactly what they did. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. So long, everybody.